we're starting now because I want you to see the whole picture. This is Drakey, sibling to Cora, but they have very different ideas about grooming, standing on the table, and in fact, body language. But this is a video about tails. So let's do tails. Let's comb it out first. You have come a long way. I've done a lot of work on tails with Drecky. He's not as good on the table. So over here, even though you can't see it, is his food bowl. You'll see that the Grooming noose is quite loose because I want him to be happy and I put my, ta my scissors somewhere else other than on the table. Now, doing this backwards for me really is difficult. I'm right-handed, so think about that. Drecky has had his tail trimmed a lot more than Cora, so in theory, he should be better at it than Cora, but I'm not sure that he is. Shall we go with scissors first? I'll stand right at the end because that makes picturing a lot, videoing a lot easier. So, see I've grabbed his tail firmly but kindly down the bottom and done the messy bits here. I don't know how he feels about the clippers. What do you think about the clippers? You can't go too close. Now notice how I'm going to keep my hand on his body all the way and again not too much pressure but I'm going to Hold his tail now. Careful, he's not big on body awareness. Right? So, really, I should be getting another person to come and help me to feed him while I do this so that he doesn't have any, any issues with it. Let's see if I can do it with my other hand, just as an experience, and we're not too fussed about how much I'm taking off because he's had plenty trims before. Don't put them on the table, they make a big noise, which he's not so fussed about. But you can see, he wants to sit down I'm much better off to say stop now and get a second person to continuously feed him. Oh, sorry. Oops. While I'm doing his tail, in the meantime, we'll just do a little bit of practice. And I'm going to trim in against here. And his coat is very different to um, Chorus, even though they're brother and sister, right? But lots of tail play, lots of play with his tail to make sure that he feels really happy when I come to trim it. But, and that's all I'm going to do today, I'll comb him out as well, but um, but I won't worry about his tail anymore because I need a third person, a second person. But in time, he will become just as good as Cora. And you can see that in some ways, he's sort of relaxed on the grooming table in a different way to her. And again, I'm going to do the line grooming thing. See how I'm letting the coat 
come down as I pull it back because this is the area that coats change and you only want to be grooming a tiny little bit and there it is and then once I've done it see much harder to do this way but if I lift the coat and do a tiny bit at a time it'll come out and you can see the little tiny bit that is coming out. Cora has much more coat coming out. Very different coats. Okay, are you good? <gasps> we had no real gameplay today. <gasps> Did we have no real... Are you going to wag your tail? Are you going to wag your tail? Yes, up here? Good boy. <gasps> He's a good boy. It's a good fun being on the grooming table. We can play games with other treats today. Is that okay? Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye.